Hey YouTube, Jim here coming back with another video. Today I wanted to do a video response for Dylan over at Double D Vintage Baseball Cards. Uh, he has taken the YouTube community by storm. Um, he, in six months, he is up to, as i um, making this video today, he is up to, I think, 554 subscribers. And he just started in January, so he's only been you know, doing this for like six months. So that's, that's pretty incredible to get that many subscribers in such a short time. But it's not surprising because when you watch his videos, you see he's just a really genuine guy and he just, you know, sits there and he, he, he speaks from the heart and he, he's very, um, you know, he just has a great way of talking about the things that he loves in this, these baseball cards that he has and it's just really nice to listen to and he has a, a, an incredible passion and uh, really really enjoy watching his videos and listening to his thoughts and uh, opinions on his collection and so what he's doing is he is celebrating his 500 subscribers he is actually has these custom made frames that he made that you can display um a, a card in a, a graded card he, he's got two different ones one of them you can put an sgc card and another one is uh for a psa card and so before i get started showing my, the cards that i would display um i just wanted to highlight this card because i know that this is one of dylan's favorite cards the 1975 tops robin yount rookie card so I'm just gonna let that sit there while I do the video. That's in honor of Dylan. And so, as far as the frame is, the frames are concerned. Um, one of the first cards that I would display in that frame would be this beautiful 1941 Playball Jimmy Fox. Um, I think that card would just look great. As a matter of fact, all these cards I'm going to show would look great, framed and displayed. Just love, love, love that card. Love the colors. Love the image there of Jimmy Fox. Such a great player. Another card that would just be beautifully framed. This 1948 Leaf Joe DiMaggio. Another beautiful card. When I was thinking about these cards, um, you know, the, the case that he has, it's a single, for a single card, it's almost like a frame so I kind of, you know, went uh, more towards art-based type cards. So um, next would be this beautiful 1954 Bowman Mickey Mantle. That certainly will look gorgeous in that frame. Now also you can display that frame uh, vertically or horizontally. So for um, some horizontal options, what would be better than a 1955 Sandy Koufax? I don't know, maybe a 1953 Bowman Pee Wee Reese. Beautiful card. I can I could picture that just hanging on the wall, just like that, with a beautiful frame around it. As far as SGC is concerned, we've got options there as well. Um, horizontally, we could go with this nice, beautiful 1956 tops. Willie Mays. Love, love, love that card. 56 tops. Awesome cards. Um, got the got the headshot there, and then there's the beautiful action shot in the background there. Such a nice card. And of course, we've got a another beautiful card, 1952 tops. Manny Minoso, recently inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame. Of course, talking about beautiful cards, this is another great option. 1953 top Satchel Page. Certainly would look beautiful framed up and hanging on the wall. But I think that if I were to win, more than likely, the very first card that I would display would be this beautiful 1954 tops ted williams <clears throat> um one of my favorite all-time pl players of course played for my red Sox, and it's just such a beautiful card 
Just would love to see that displayed, framed, and hanging up on the wall right here. And so that's all I got. If you're not familiar with Double D Vintage Baseball Cards, I will leave a link in the description. Go over there, check him out. His name's Dylan. Tell him I sent you. I know he would appreciate it, and I, I'm fairly certain that you would enjoy watching and listening to his videos. Again, great stuff. Thanks for the, thanks for doing the, the contest, Dylan. Very enjoyable. I've been having a good time watching everybody's response videos, and I had a lot of fun looking through these cards and thinking about which ones that I would display. So again, um, it's Saturday, so I hope you all have an, had a nice week, and I hope everyone has a great weekend. I appreciate everyone watching, and that's all I've got. Bye for now.